Hello, I'm Renzo Gao, and this is Smarter One PH. In my past review sessions for the board exam for psychometricians, I have used a simple analogy to teach the concepts of reliability and validity in psychological assessment. I have used something common to many of us, adobo. Yes, we use adobo as in the dish, the ulab that every Filipino knows, to explain the concepts of the psychometric properties or technical properties used in psychological assessment. The idea actually started and came from one of my former students, Raquel Magallanes, who used adobo to explain the relationship between reliability and validity. To simplify that relationship, a test that is reliable may or may not be valid, but a test that is valid is a test that is always reliable. In explaining that concept using adobo, she said, Halimbawa, nagluto ka ng adobo. Pwede magluto ka ng adobo ng ilang beses at pare-pareho yung lasa. That refers to reliability. There is consistency in the taste of the adobo. Pero hindi naman pala lasang adobo, which now refers to the adobo as not being valid. From there, I expanded the analogy in order to simplify the concepts of reliability and validity. First, let us define reliability. Reliability refers to the consistency of a test in measuring the construct it is supposed to measure. A reliable test, therefore, is a test that can give approximately the same result every time it is administered. The more the test gives the same result, the more consistent it becomes, the more reliable it is. There are several types of reliability. First is test retest reliability. This refers to establishing the consistency of the test by administering the same test to the same group of individuals on two different sessions. We can establish reliability when the two testing sessions yield the same result. So, in using the adobo analogy, para masabing may test retest reliability yung adobo mo, kung nagluto ka ng adobo at tinikman mo kaninang umaga at tinikman mo mamayang hapon, dapat pareho yung lasa. Another type of reliability is alternate forms reliability, where you have two different forms or versions of the test that is administered to the same group in one testing session. We can get the reliability by looking at how the two forms of the same test give the same results. Going back sa adobo, para masabing may alternate forms reliability yung adobo mo, halimbawa, nagluto ka ng pork adobo at chicken adobo, dapat halos pareho yung lasa. Lasang adobo. The third one is split half reliability, where one test is administered to one group. The test is then split into two halves, hence the term split half. The scores of the two halves are correlated. We establish reliability of the test when the two halves have similar results. In adobo, para masabing may split half reliability yung adobo mo, halimbawa, nagluto ka ng adobo at nilagay mo sa dalawang lalagyan, Dapat magkalasa yung dalawa. Another type of reliability is inter-rater reliability, sometimes referred to as inter-judge reliability. Here, there are two different raters or judges that score the similar test. Reliability here is established when the two raters give the same score. In adobo again, para masabing may inter-rater reliability yung adobo mo, pag tinikman ng nanay at tatay mo yung adobo mo, Dapat pareho nilang sasabihing lasang adobo yung linuto mo. Let us now define validity. Validity is the extent to which the test measures what it claims to measure. We also refer to validity as the accuracy of the test in measuring the construct it was designed to measure. For example, a math ability test is valid if it can accurately measure mathematical ability and not other abilities like spelling or reading abilities. One type of validity is phase validity. Although it is not considered a scientific measure of validity, phase validity is still essential in assessment. It is referred to as phase validity because we assess the validity of the test based on its phase value. That is, by the look of it, the test appears to measure what it is supposed to measure. So para masabi mo na face valid yung adobo mo, kailangan pag tinignan mo, mukhang adobo. Another one is content validity. 
Looking at the contents or domains of the test, the test is said to have content validity if it assesses the important aspects or components of the characteristic being measured. There are two concepts included here. Construct under representation, where the test lacks certain aspects of the construct being measured. For example, if you develop an English ability test, but the items only focus on spelling ability, this is a construct under representation because English ability does not solely rely on spelling ability. Another concept is construct irrelevant variants. This exists when a test is influenced by other factors or constructs not relevant to what the test is really measuring. For example, your English ability test has questions that require the correct computation of a mathematical problem. Going back to our analogy, para masabi mo na may content validity yung adobo mo, yung ingredients dapat para sa adobo. May construct under representation ka kung kulang yung sangkap ng adobo mo. At may construct relevant variance naman kung may ingredients kang dinagdag na hindi naman para sa adobo at nakaapekto sa lasa ng adobo mo. Third is construct validity. It focuses on the test measuring what it is supposed to measure and not something else. If it is a measure of anxiety, it should measure only anxiety and not intelligence. There are two ways to establish construct validity, convergent evidence and discriminant evidence. Convergent evidence is established when two tests that claim to measure the same construct yield correlated results. Discriminant evidence, on the other hand, is when two tests that measure two different constructs yield uncorrelated results. In our adobo analogy, para masabing may construct validity yung adobo mo, kung ikukumpara mo yung adobo mo sa adobo ng kapitbahay mo na nagsasabing adobo din ang luto niya, dapat magkalasa yung luto nyo. May convergent evidence kapag magkalasa yung adobo ninyo at may discriminant evidence naman kapag yung adobo mo hindi kalasa nung asado niya. And the last one is criterion validity. This is how a test accurately measures what it is supposed to measure as supported by a criterion or an acceptable measure or standard for the same characteristic that the test measures. Para masabi mong may criterion validity yung adobo mo, kung ikukumpara mo yung adobo sa adobo ng lola mo, na alam ng buong Pilipinas na magaling siya magluto ng adobo, at tanggap ng lahat na ang lasa ng adobo ay yung adobo ni lola, dapat magkalasa yung adobo mo at ang adobo ng lola mo. There you have it, a simple way of understanding the concepts of reliability and validity. While this video lecture did not discuss the concepts fully and in detail, we hope that it can help you in understanding the two concepts. Remember that this is an analogy and we are trying to present a fun way to study something which others may find boring. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Renzer Gao and this module is presented by Smarter1PH in collaboration with our Gao Center for Psychological Services. Visit www.smarter1.ph for more video lectures.